I know that together we're cheering on our sister-in-law um, as we go through this um, Supreme Court, I don't even know what to call it, but through these hearings and, um, you know, fiasco, I guess is the right word. Um, but I wanted to say something, and that is that you don't have to let the system break you to prove who you are. You don't. You really don't. Like, it's okay if this isn't for you. It's okay if you don't want to have to, you know, listen to a bunch of idiotic white men who don't know anything about what you do and who could never have passed any of the classes that you've passed. If you don't want to let them berate you or, you know, ask you about children's books or pose asinine questions that they don't even know the answers to um, in order to judge your, your worth, your um, capability um, in a field in which most of them would never have survived or didn't survive and thus ended up in politics. If you don't want to do that, you don't have to. Um, I think that for Black women um, attorneys especially, but for Black women in all fields um, in, in the American corporate system, there is a, a suggestion that in order to prove that we really got to where we got because of our merit, we have to try to ascend to the highest, you know, the, the highest height to, um, to become the, the sort of lord or, or lady of the manor. And we don't have to do that. We don't have to do that. You don't have to be number one in your class to be a great student. You don't have to make partner to have been a good lawyer. You don't have to even stay in the law to have been a good lawyer. You don't have to work in the law at all to have a JD and to be proud of it and to recognize that that is an accomplishment and it makes you someone who has ascended, right, above many, many others. And I just want to, I want to say that because I have watched from the periphery and I have seen that I have seen the attempt to break the spirit. I've seen that. And there really are people, right, who just want, they're, all, they're programmed to break our spirits, to try to break our spirits, to try to steal our joy. And I have watched Judge Brown Jackson not be broken, be unwilling to be broken, right? Um, I have watched her grace and her unflappability. And I've known that I will never be that person. <laughs> I have known. And I'm not ashamed of that. You know, that is not for me. Um, but I do believe that there is someone who needs to know that if that is not for you, you don't have to do it. You're still worthy, you're still good, you're still all of the accomplishments you've had and all of the things that you've done. And you don't have to do any of them and you'll still be worthy and you'll still be good and you'll still be all of the things that you are. Because everything that you do is just something you've done. And yes, it complements who you are and who you're becoming and who, who you um, can be to others. You know, I, I'm not someone who says that our actions are insignificant or that um, that work is, um, is somehow, you know, a negative, right? I don't believe that. I believe that contributing in many ways, right, through, um, through love and care and as well as through, um, through traditional work and, 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 um, and endeavors in that way, I think all of that is, is positive, uh, as long as people are satisfied by it and it, it, um, serves a, a purpose, right? And I don't mean in a utilitarian way. Um, I, I think that it's important, though, that we step back from all of this and remember that in order to get where we got, we already have overcome, right? We've already fought fights that we weren't ready to fight. We've already been in rooms where we were the only one and or where we were ignored and or where we were made to feel uncomfortable and or where someone mispronounced our name and or where our peers who we thought we could trust in fact saw us as threats because they fought so fucking hard to get into that room already and how dare you come in and try to upset the balance. We've all been there, 
right? We've all been there. Sometimes we've been the asshole who's pushing the other black person around. We've all been there, right? But none of those things define us. Who we are is so much bigger, so much bigger than how hard we fought and how far we came. 